This past fall in my district, the operator of a water treatment system for a mobile home park on tribal land failed to properly maintain it, resulting in residents being exposed to drinking water contaminated with arsenic nine times higher than the maximum contaminant level. Do you know who caught this violation? No, I don't, but we, the, the well, let me tell water you. program is delegated well, to the well, state let me tell of you. California. Let me tell you who caught this pro, you, let me tell you. Sure. EPA Region 9 staff. EPA Region 9 staff identified it and were immediately on site to issue an emergency order to the owner and begin an investigation. Shortly after, when smoke from a mulch fire at an illegal recycling center, also on tribal land, sickened students at a nearby school, senior EPA staff were in my office the following week discussing what tools were available to protect the public's health. Your compliance and enforcement staff under Regional Administrator Stoker have been responsive, thoughtful, and diligent in protecting the health and well-being of my constituents. And this is why I'm concerned about this administration's budget. Administrator Wheeler, do you know what this administration's funding request was for the Public Water System Supervision Program that helps monitor water systems for pollutants like arsenic is? I don't have the top number off the top. I'll tell you, the Trump administration's budget slashes the drinking water system supervision program by $38 million, a 40% cut from last year. That's correct. That's a 40% cut. Also, the Civil and Criminal Enforcement Division for environmental programs like clean water and clean air take a $15 million cut. Compliance monitoring is cut by $6 million. EPA's enforcement of waste and recycling regulations are cut by $23 million. Under this budget, the chances of my constituents drinking arsenic-laden water and breathing hazardous air increases drastically. So how does cutting programs like enforcement and monitoring improve the ability of EPA to protect my constituents' health? How does it help? First of all, as I, as I started with my, my first answer to your first question, um, the, the drinking water program is delegated to the state of California. They do far more inspections than we yes, do. We oversee funding. the There's California funding inspections. There's funding to for make it. sure that the states are enforcing the laws. Um, but so under let, let our enforcement talk, program- Let me ask you a, a different thing because okay. we, we're running out of time and you're not getting to the point of it because that funding empowers that state and your regional offices to do the work. The fiscal year 21 Trump administration budget cuts the tribal general assistance program and the tribal air quality programs by more than 30%. These are important programs used by tribes in my district to improve their air quality and establish environmental protections on their land that have benefits not only for their members but for the surrounding community. But because this program is already underfunded, these cuts will make it even harder for tribes to access this funding. I'm currently in the process of working with the tribes in my district to partner with agencies like the EPA, your agency, to develop robust environmental programs to prevent, mitigate, and respond to airborne hazards. How can the EPA support tribes and tribal consortia who are aiming to establish environmental programs on their land? First of all, we provide assistance, technical assistance to tribes and states and local communities all across the country. When we delegate a program to a state, they are responsible for taking over the inspection and assistance to the local communities within the state. But, you know, perfect example is our research office over the last two years provided 35,000 hours of technical support to states, local governments, and so tribes. So let's talk more about that. Uh, I'm genuinely interested. And will you commit to working uh, to honor the government's trust responsibility and ensure the tribes are fully supporting their efforts to establish and grow tribal environmental programs with me? Yes, I'll be happy to work with you on that. Great, let's have a conversation after this. Thank you.